What's up, family? Today's video is gonna be about not ignoring red flags. That is today's topic. Not ignoring red flags. How many of us have talked to somebody and we ignored the flags that was shown to us early and it came back to bite us? It ended us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a lot of us. So, reasons that you don't want to ignore the red flag is because it only get worse, man. If you see something, say something. Granted, not everyone is perfect. Say something. If you say something and you leave time for a resolution, and let's say, for instance, something happens for that moment and it shifts. So it's a change of action just for that moment. And next month or two weeks, it goes right back to the same thing. At that point, again, we not perfect. So I understand, you know, it takes people a little time. It do, honestly. Like, we're not robots. If we were doing something for 20 years, man, it's, it's easy to revert back to it because it's what you know. So I would say repeat yourself again, probably, if you wanted to. If you want to just walk away, that's absolutely fine as well, honestly. But just to make sure, try it again. Try to say it another way. Maybe it wasn't interpreted the way you wanted it to be interpreted. Say it another way. And then it happens again. At that point, you need to start asking yourself questions. Because at this point, this will come back to bite you. It will. And you got to ask yourself, are you ready for that? Are you willing to take that risk? Are you willing to take that risk? Prime example. Let's say for instance, you're talking to a female and she's friendly. She always in somebody's face. Always in somebody's face. She always sneaky, always kiki and ha ha. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not insecure at all. I didn't talk to females that had male friends. I really didn't care. Because I, you know, I trust you. Until you give me a reason not to trust you, I'm going to trust you. Let's say that that's going on, but you just notice, like, she's just extremely too friendly. She seeks that attention. When a woman seeks attention, man, just know that's real. Just know that's real. When you're not giving her attention, what do you think she's going to do? She's going to seek it from other places. And it's not going to be you. Then what you think is next? Then now she's entertaining other people because she wants that attention. Now she's doing things that she usually doesn't do for attention. Now she has become attention driven. And became a attention seeking woman. So we gotta pay attention to that. If that's a flag that you notice early and it's red, man, you gotta pay attention to that because something like that, for example, could come back and sting later. Come back and get embarrassed. Because your woman was looking for attention, you didn't give it to her, so she went and got it from somewhere else. Now you embarrassed, now you're looking crazy all because you ignored it early when you saw the signs. And you had a chance to leave it alone. You had a chance to kick it to the curb, but you didn't. You ever been with a woman, man, and it just seemed like it was too good to be true, man? Like, she did everything you wanted. And it just seemed like everything was perfect. And this thing, you know, you saw all of that was fake. The reason why it was like that is probably because you were so eager to get into something. Sometimes as men or women, because this can go for both parties, we really mess up ourselves by being so eager. Sometimes we just need to let things flow, flow naturally. When we let these things flow naturally, it just comes and it's smooth. It doesn't require you to force. It doesn't require you to bed. It doesn't seem like it's not authentic. And those are things that we need to get to a level of comfort of doing. Letting things flow naturally without forcing. So it can still flow authentically. Let's do that, man. So, another thing that happens when you ignore red flags 
You waste time. How many of us had dead end relationships and multiple dead end relationships that ended the same way? It stalled out after a year. It stalled out after two years. It stalled out after six months. You've been with three people and every person y'all broke up after six months. Right at the six month mark. What does that tell you? Is something going on or you're just a problem? Honestly, there's two things. You're the problem or something's going on that you're not really peeping. That you keep putting yourself in this situation. So with that being said, we got to evaluate these things. Ask ourselves, what do we truly want out of a woman? What are we going to truly provide as a man? And we got to also ask ourselves, are we truly ready for a relationship? These are things we need to ask ourselves, honestly. And all of those things pertain to not annoying red flags because we are just as accountable, honestly. We are. I know. It's coming from me. Yeah, we are, though. So just keep that in mind. And we got to stay easy, man. So those are just a couple of things of why you shouldn't ignore the red flags, man. See y'all later, man. Daughter family, I'm out, baby. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and share this video.